All right, well, just looking at this Gaza thing one more time because I saw this article here and I think this really corks it for you. Israel strikes back against fire from Gaza. Look at the people. Caroline Alexander and Jonathan Furziger, July 14. I knew today would be a bit of a special day for spellcraft because the july is the seventh month of course and 14 being the double seven and 2014 adding to a seven now people might think it's strange to talk about sevens but they're an integral part of all these hoaxes now see if we can see a bit more numerology type stuff so don't forget it was a real event you couldn't add this but when it's a fake event you can construct everything the names the place names and the numbers so that it fits a certain dimension, the Masonic pantomime dimension. Now, I just want to state, look at this guy with these toys here. Now, you see, they always want to show some toys. I mean, does that really, that looks industrial. It doesn't look like a home. There's no furnishings. There should be mashed up furnishings. The only furnishings are the toys. I'm just not liking lots of elements of this here, all that rubble and the thing, it's supposed to be blasted away. Looks more to me like stuff that's been jackhammered around and, and just chucked there for effect. Now look as we come down here, you see we have 40 terrace sites and 20 rockets. Well, 42 is the old six by seven and 42 is the answer to everything in the universe and double the 21. So it's triple seven and triple seven, as I said, six sevens. So there's a good hint that we are looking at something that's bodgy. We'll just go down a little bit. We've got an L. We always have an L. Nice Saturn is L, folks. And of course, Saturn stands for seven, the Sabbath. Now you have 170 Palest uh, Palestinians there. Look, about 170. So there's a seven, but of course, this is an eight. This is a story here. So we've moved into eights. I noticed the other day it was a big seven in the air and against the wall there was an eight in red. I forgot to pick that out in one of my videos. The one where I, you see the power lines is a seven. So have a look at that again and you might notice the eight. So there we go. We've got the 17. You see this a lot. There's a lot of songs in the rock and roll industry about 17 again. Dave J does some good stuff on the number 17. Very interesting number where eight and seven meet, you might say, and they meet with 10, which is the Artemis number. So it really has a lot of depth of meaning, that particular one. I always like the 200 or the 20, the two, the dualist idea. And as we come down here, we have another seven here. You see, it just so happens they want to mention 2005 because they will, because there's your seven. And 7-Eleven. Now, the other day there was a shooting in Houston and the house was 7-Eleven. Here it is again, 7-Eleven. Uh, and another 11. See? Always. And another two. So lots of twos or 11s. You'll always see that right into dualism. If there's any other numbers here, just mentioning all the individuals. We know all them. Kerry and Netanyahu, they're always mentioned. I love that word Gaza. No, not much else this, in this particular thing. But as you can see from that photo I just showed you, look at it. He's carrying out the toys. But is he taking them up? He's got the he's resting on top of that stair bit. That's weird, isn't it? And what that woman is doing, is it a woman? It looks a bit like a woman there because it's all masked up. But <laughs> as we know today, you can never be sure. So, yeah, definitely Masonic Pantomime. Look at this. Look at this. I mean to say, look, it's come out here. Well, these would have been mangulated, wouldn't they? If this was crushed and mangulated. I don't know what this is hanging here either. Very odd. Just shows you. It's all rubbish. And uh, I don't think much is going on there at all. No doubt some of the youths have a bit of a right and throw a few rocks. Maybe that's the only thing that ever goes on. I'm not sure even of that. But this is definitely rubbish. And I'm not pro-Israel, and I'm not particularly pro-Palestinian. Uh, I'm just delivering you what I see here. You can make what you like of it, but uh, I'm not liking the look of it at all.
what's this green rope bit do, doing down here too? You know, there's some odd little things here. Hmm. Now, upstairs, downstairs. This is as above, so below, you see. Look. No, I tell you, they're, they're jokers, aren't they? And they are. Look at the bloke at Boston. And some guy put a comment on uh, starting to talk about the, the bombers from Boston and how they were on the Russian terror lists or whatever. I'm just thinking, mate, it's one world government and those guys are just total pure actors. They're not under anybody's periscope because they are part of the periscope. And anyone who can't understand that, you don't understand total spectrum dominance. Check my uh, little music video we did for Total Spectrum Dominance.